Hello. I met a bunch of you at PAX Unplugged, but stuff still happened. So what's up? Your DNA is my DNA. By right, I paid for it. The 23andMe hack continues to be absurd as now 6.9 nice million, not as nice, people have had their DNA stolen. It sounds, I mean, okay, you still, it's still in your body, but a copy of it is in the hands of somebody else. Give me your DNA. Give me it. And so here's what happened. Hackers broke into about 14,000 accounts on 23andMe. They did that by using reused passwords that were leaked from other services. This is a reminder. Don't use the same password twice ever. I know it's a pain. Use a password manager. They generate them for you and they autofill your account and it makes it so much easier, but it makes it safer. And then people like me won't be reading your DNA. I'm not reading your DNA. I'm too busy brewing a potion with it. Uh, so hackers broke into these 14,000 accounts and then used existing systems within 23andMe to essentially identify a whole bunch of other accounts, steal all of their data and get away with it. They are now selling the genetic code of 6.9 million users on the dark web for about a buck a piece. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Why would I care if my genetic code was leaked? What can they do with that? Well, they can target you. Genetic code tells you what someone's ethnicity is. And I, I don't think it takes many more steps to extrapolate just how bad that can be. But I don't know, maybe people with a bunch of stolen information about human genetics and a lack of a moral code are probably gonna be fine. This is a quick update. It is December 6th, 2023. Henry Kissinger is still dead. More important, the GTA 6 trailer just dropped. People have been waiting for this trailer forever. The Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer has been one of the most anticipated things in gaming history. There are essentially entire religions around figuring out when the trailer was going to drop. And it finally did. And it looks pretty good. They released the trailer a bit early because it leaked elsewhere online. And it already has over 100 million views on YouTube within like 24 hours. It's like record breaking shit. Almost as good as how my videos do on YouTube. Almost. Almost. <clears throat> oh. Anyway, the game looks gorgeous and it looks like you're going to be playing as a couple that does crime. Neat. Let's do some crime. Oh, speaking of crime. Artificial intelligence, if you're not already aware, ChatGPT has been trained on essentially a gargantuan mountain of stolen data. OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT, just took everything they could possibly get their hands on and fed it into the AI. It doesn't matter if it's Wikipedia or a blog post or internal company memos. If they could find it, they, they fed it into the AI. Now, OpenAI has previously said that they don't want to reveal their training data because it would open up too many lawsuits. Weird. But security researchers recently found that if you ask ChatGPT to repeat a word forever, it will eventually start breaking and just revealing some of its training data. For example, if you went to ChatGPT and said, repeat the word poem forever, it would just start going poem, 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 poem for a while. And then it would just start printing out verbatim stolen information. I'm talking email addresses, phone numbers, names, addresses, things that are not supposed to be displayed. Anyway, uh, OpenAI has since made it against the terms of service to ask ChatGPT to repeat a word forever. What a, what a fix. We, we did it. Technology. I did a quick double check. Henry Kissinger is still dead. Democracy dies in darkness, you nerds. But also solidarity. About 700 members of the Union of Workers at Washington Post are walking off the job tomorrow, December 7th. They've been working on a new contract with better working conditions, better pay, all that stuff. You've heard this story before. WAPO is not budging. And so they said, fuck that. And they're walking off the job. And they've asked for people to stand in solidarity with them by not engaging with Washington Post media for the time being. I find this incredibly easy. Stop paywalling your crap. On this day in 1956, an infamous water polo match took place at the Olympics. I love that sequence of words. It was called the blood in the water match, which is rad. And it happened between Hungary and the USSR during the Hungarian revolution of 1956. And so these two teams were, uh, 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 their tensions were a bit high. And towards the end of the match, one of the Russian players punched one of the Hungarian players right in the eye. There is a famous photo from this that's probably too graphic for me to share here, but it shows the Hungarian player who was punched bleeding profusely from right above his eye. Apparently physical altercations were pretty common throughout the match, but ultimately Hungary won four to zero. Get dunked on. Lightning round. Henry Kissinger is still fucking dead. <laughs> uh, some guy streaked on It's a Small World in Disneyland, took off his clothes and 
started touching all the animatronics. There is a leaning tower in Italy that's not the Pisa one, but another one. And it's also about to fall over after leaning for about a thousand years. Not necessarily imminently, but probably soon. Fortnite players rejoice. You will soon be able to play as Peter Griffin and Solid Snake because nothing makes sense anymore. Spotify has cut another 17% of their workforce as they still are struggling to be profitable despite barely paying artists. After the temporary ceasefire, Israel has resumed bombing Gaza. They are now focusing on the southern part of Gaza where they were previously telling everybody to evacuate to. There's nowhere left to go. And on that topic, the United Auto Workers has called for a ceasefire in Gaza, making them the largest labor union in the US to do that. Seems a little far-fetched, but we've already seen how much unity among workers can get things done in this country. Maybe we could use a little more of that. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and I'm actually gonna be uploading some more bonus content than I used to be uploading, so there's more to look forward to there. Yay! I would love it if you would check out my brand new podcast with my co-host Diana of the Rose. It is called The Atlas Loom. It is an exploration of world building for tabletop and beyond. It is available wherever you get your podcasts. It's also available on YouTube and YouTube Music, all that stuff, Spotify, everything, everywhere. Give it a listen. I think you're gonna really like it. We've gotten a ton of excellent feedback and I am super, super excited about the future of that show. Regardless, my name is Endeavorance. I'll be back on Friday. Take care and be well.